I'm F Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now you have seen the clip at the beginning of this video and you know or you can guess what I'm up to. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make your very own cocoa butter. So please ensure that you stay tuned and watch until the end of this video. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and share on the channel things that I do to live naturally on a budget. First, we cut the pods and remove the beans. And I'll be putting these to dry for a couple of days. Usually, this would take up to a month or so for the cocoa beans to be completely dry. But in the interest of time, I'm going to be heating them over the stove. So we're gonna parch the beans now. When you're doing the parching, ensure that you stir the beans consistently because you don't want them to burn. The first roasting is to allow the shaft to come off easily. And so what I'm gonna be doing now is to remove the shaft from the cocoa beans. So See, it comes off very easily once you have roasted the beans and then I'm going to roast the beans again and that second roasting will be to simulate the oil in the beans. Alright, so I'm just doing a few of these. I'm going to do the rest off camera. And this is what the bean looks like. So you just need to strip off the shaft and it's pretty easy time consuming but pretty easy so this inside is what we call cocoa nibs and these are fresh so we don't they don't break very easily Here are the trash from the cocoa beans and these are what they look like. I am now going to parch them to stimulate the oil as I mentioned earlier. So here are the cocoa beans. I'm going to pour them down into the mortar. If you don't have a mortar and a pestle, feel free to go ahead and use your grinder to do this part of the process
So here I've already set on a pot of water so this will come to a boil and then I will be adding the cocoa powder to the pot. Guys this smells absolutely amazing. So guys the water has started to boil rapidly so I'm going to be putting in the cocoa powder now. You just want to stir this so that it doesn't boil over. Stir it consistently. So you really want to allow all the water to boil out and then the pure oil will be left. When all the water has evaporated, you're going to re-add some water to the coca sludge. As soon as the oil has settled on top of the liquid, you are going to strain this and put this into another container and you're going to put this in your freezer for approximately one to two hours. Just enough time for the oil to coagulate and become butter on the top of the liquid. Skim the butter from the surface. We're gonna return this to the flame and allow all the liquid to evaporate once again and then we'll have just the pure cocoa oil. And then you just want to pour this as soon as your oil cools down and you can put it in your refrigerator for it to harden or you could let it sit at room temperature it will harden anyway and that's it thanks for watching this video if you liked what i just shared in this tutorial go ahead and give this video a like and remember to share it with your friends thank you for watching see you in the next video